know about any of you guys, but my house has just gone into sudden meltdown. Oh, How are you girls? Good. Good. How are you? Good. Suffered. I had a massive migraine yesterday, which had me in bed all day, throwing yeah. up like a champion. So oh, no. if I look a little bit wan. Yeah, a bit um, pasty. <sighs> yeah. Oh, that's, that's a bit rough. You get no, home regularly? When I was a kid, I did, and now that I'm sort of going on the other end of that hormonal process, perhaps maybe yes. So, yeah. but um, you know, all the mad ones always did, so I'm kind of happy with that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know the oh, there's crazy mad <laughs> ones. Oh, kill me, be <laughs> All right, so who's going to kick off? Who's the start? Who's our starting champion for for, for which esoteric? I'll, I'll stop doing that noise now. All done. Yeah. You clean up. Um, I don't know. Dem alphabetical order, Alana. Okay. <laughs> now I have to decide. I have to decide. Esoteric. Um, so let's, can we just? We need to define esoteric again. So yeah, I think we can make our own definitions of esoteric as we show and tell. Okay. Good. Okay. Like, how about we do that? And then, it, and then there's like, there's been no, no, you know, there's no overarching sort of. Someone wins more than the other. I think we're all a bit esoteric, and we can just—it just only serves to to um, to amplify how unusual and each other uh, from each other we are. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Cool. Go for it. Um, okay. Well, let me guess. Does it have anything to do with Star Wars? Because I've got my layer hair for you today. <laughs> it's a day late, but I did that on purpose. No, out of it doesn't. But I should have done that. Yeah. I'm, yeah, yesterday was all Star Wars. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> Keith hasn't seen Star Wars. I was like, what is going on? There are a lot of people out there who don't know a lot of shit. Oh, <laughs> mate. But Keith, it was so it's unexpected. True. Anyway. Um, okay, so Can I would. make the actual Star Wars, the original Star Wars, or the whole lot? I love all of it. I, oh. I, if, if I love something and I said it yesterday on my story, I like friggin' love it to bits. So I'm, I'm a... <laughs> no, but do you really love it, though, Alana? Yeah. After <laughs> seeing her in, her in her outfits yesterday oh. working at JB Hi-Fi. Oh, my That God. was the most hilarious but so, you know, I mean, we are we are the the, the, the characters within the high, de, high fidelity, aren't we? I mean, it's not just, it's yeah, it's not just a little, it's the lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, no, go was, on, Alana. Um, go for yeah, it. I... For context, Lisa, I dressed up as um, Ray for, like, May the 4th about four years ago and I reposted it yesterday. <laughs> so, oh, okay, cool, yeah, gotcha. The whole thing. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'll go with the album then. I don't think it's, like, the most esoteric out of what you guys would pick, but I remember when I first heard this album, I was just like, what is this? This is mad. There's, like, weird yelping in the background and this really cool like high-pitched strange sound but awesome and like poppy so mine is she's so unusual by oh wow yeah. yeah yeah uh, yeah, yeah. Ooh. um because yeah i just remember i remember that uh especially there's some live tracks on this release of the album and i remember hearing her doing um she bop and there was like just these crazy sounds and I was like, what is that? You can't, you can't do that in like a song and it was like, yeah, you can, you can and it's awesome. Um, so yeah, that's my esoteric album. I, I think she's just like super original and was one of those first people that I sort of grabbed onto um, that I went, wow, this is really weird but really cool. And you could just tell she didn't really care, like, whether she was cool or not. It was just like, I'm just going to do this and, yeah. So that's, yeah, I'm choosing Cindy Well, she, she made weird accessible, actually, didn't yeah, she? It, yeah, it, like, exactly. She, she was able to kind of perfectly meet weird stuff with pop, you know, cause she, probably because she's a great songwriter too. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, she was able to kind of bring weird to the mainstream. Yeah. Kate, are you... Are you there? You seem frozen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought she was very inactive. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now that you mention it, she's frozen. 
Hello. I'm girls. I, I clearly ah. needed more time to do my makeup this morning. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> you look I'm like so Mary Magdalene. You were just like. Yeah, I know. Usually, unresponsive to Cindy Lauper. I wonder maybe she really hates her. Yeah. <laughs> Like, relief. I didn't intend to do that. I plugged in the wrong charging lead, and of course, it just duly went out of charge. I apologize, my friend. And did you say Cindy Lauper? Because, yes, hello, Cindy Lauper. <laughs> joy. You um, just missed yes, the whole of course, right. of course, yeah. You know, who is one of the greatest eccentrics up there with Vivian Westwood, yeah, yeah, and just so free, I think. So free, um, yeah, that so was free, and thing. also, and so. Uh, you know, let's face it, potent. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And it, Tell it, us why. Why you chose it and when did you discover her? Uh, ooh, I would have been about, it would have been only about a year after Susie Quattro because I remember that was sort of when I started going more down that rock and roll <laughs> age. And, um, ooh, well, a logical progression. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I, I think Dad was like of spoon feeding me and um yeah mum always years later told me things like they didn't show me um stevie nicks for a while because they thought i was too impressionable um, <laughs> but um but yeah cindy lawper they were like yeah she'll grab on to everything um with the fashion and everything and um yeah i just remember hearing like she bop and um, money changes everything and just these really like powerful vocals that were so weird and not um, not necessarily the normal but also like these just really loud full-on sounds throughout the album um, and I just I also love how she's so unusual flows it really has a start and an end and a middle but it yeah it was just like it was this weird thing of hearing also it was the first time I'd heard keyboards sound really rock and roll and I was like this is so weird like this is so cool. actually and I should take a listen to it again because I know a lot of her stuff like Blondie there's a lot of Chuck Berry there's an early rock and roll mm. vintage through mm. a lot of these albums isn't there mm. I mean and he of course then went on I mean, the Beatles site, Chuck Berry, is one of their greatest mm. uh, influences, as does the Rolling Stones. So yeah. it's a pretty fierce bloodline, yeah. Yeah, but she's, yeah. she was just this weird, I don't know, and I, I, I loved that there was like, like there's All Through the Night, which is softer, but there's this really cool, like, keyboard part that's like, doo -doo 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 -doo. I was like, this is so musical, but so rock and roll and so cool. Um, yeah. And then, yeah, and then you saw the hair and the fashion and about oh, probably a month later, mum was like, oh, I'm regretting this because now she's dyeing her hair. And, like, you know, so, yeah. Did she, is time up the time on that album? Yes, yes, time up oh, the time. I think, you know, like it, it, uh, it took me a long time to realise what a beautiful song that is. Yeah. Yeah. I think because at the time, you know, I mean, at the time I thought Cindy Law, I thought she was quite fascinating, but I wasn't into her, but I, I admired her and I liked what she was doing. And, but I thought that song was a bit poppy and a bit, you know, a bit nah. yeah. farther. <laughs> yeah. But, of course, yeah. later, I, you know, hearing it later, I realised it's a, it's a beautiful song. It's, it's oh, just stunning. a song. And I really you know, when, um, it's funny when adults are put at the helm of pop music, they there is a different sort of thing. It's like watching a children's show that you know is really meant for adults. Like mm. it's actually telling you different me messages. Mm. Yeah. Um, and Simpsons, for instance, like even, you know, we know that there are many, many messages that are pumping at, at you and you laugh while your kid's just looking aimlessly at the television going, like, yeah. oh. um, yeah. But I, 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 similar to you, Lisa, I, I remember standing on a field, I was – way too pregnant to be travelling, like my doctor had strongly advised against it, but uh, Casey Chambers couldn't get to the finals and she'd been the voice of True Colours, the whole world rugby yeah. um, event. Yeah. And and for some reason couldn't perform it on the day. And it was a shocking day. It was pissing down with rain. They they took me out on a golf buggy and, I, you know, they had to lever me up. I couldn't even sort of get out of it. I, I was so big. Right. Yeah, and but when I opened my mouth and I started singing that song, oh yeah, and oh my god, 
the, and it was in the rain, which was perfect because it was complete. But the tears. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I was so I was so moved to be in that, I suppose, knowing that nothing else mattered uh, except for the beauty of how you could love someone or something like that and see yeah. someone's true colours and you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. And That's also she's sort of, I don't know about Cindy, she's got a certain um, hug of the world. I mean, she's a fierce and prickly person actually in life. Yeah. And, right, because yeah. she comes from... A bit, you know, tough, new York house. She's like, you know, yeah. she doesn't fuck around. Yeah. And, and yet all her songs have so much empathy in them. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They're yeah. brilliant. And and that was the other mm. thing actually as well. I always hated my speaking voice growing up. Like I was just like, oh, oh I God, love your voice. <laughs> my voice is so annoying when I'm speaking. Like I just wanted to sing all the time because I was just like, I hate my speaking voice. And then I heard her voice and I was like, oh, it's not so bad. We're fine. <laughs> like, <laughs> Yeah, her singing my voice producer, is amazing. That's my voice, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's so fucking cute. Well, isn't that funny? Because I think your voice is sort of like the grandest part of your your public personal persona. You know, oh, hi. No. I always. And, and so, what have you got there, Lisa? What's oh, your? Uh, well, mine's um. Oh, uh, maybe it's a bit predictable. It is one of my still one of my all time favorite records. But when I first when I first kind of got into Brian Eno. I thought he was mm. So this is mine, which is oh, one of the records called Taking Tug of Mountain by Strategy. And um, wow. I was about, I would have been about 18 or 19, I think, when a, a girl that I used to work with um, lent me this record. And I actually think this is still hers. I've got two copies of it and one of them is hers, which I'm not really bad about. But anyway, <laughs> never mind. Um, and it's quite it's quite strange, that record. I mean, you know what Brian Eno is like. He goes from, you know, weird to weirder and weird in the middle. But that record, I remember thinking, oh, I'm, I'm really digging these, you know, weird esoteric sounds. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, and I felt kind of weird about it. But but I got right into to Eno and, uh, of course, yeah. you know, with his massive um, influence and work with Bowie and Roxy and all that stuff, like there's just yeah. so much to love within Eno. But there's so much weird stuff, you know, like it's quite a, it's quite a journey to kind of, um, connect mm. sometimes, mm. but I think I suppose um, yeah, definitely because you're a Bowie gal as as a we as well. Um, but there are different degrees of Bowie, isn't there? There's like yeah. Bowie um, and all the Berlin history and, and Eno and all of that community. Um, yeah. They were the first, you know, uh, sonic space aliens. Let's face it, and they were they were they were bringing us contact with other worlds. Mm. True, the world the world within that had it exactly. seemed like, and it was meant to be weird. I mean, it was like taking heroin without taking heroin. Mm. You yeah. know, that's how I thought he was meant to be for me anyway. Mm. Yeah. And they were all servicing that that theme. I mean, is that too toxic to describe it like that? But that's how it felt to me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well. It was. It took me to a cave, for instance, Eno. Yeah. I think I think Bowie probably got a lot of the reflected glory of a lot of the producers and writers and and well, and yeah, yeah, as as we all do when we're the ones up the front, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. But you know, with Bowie, as we know, you know, his his specialty really was choosing who he worked with. Yeah. You know, and oh, that's Martin, right. You're right. His people. He yeah. did it so well because they brought out the best in him. You know, yeah, he's so. the original Space Cowboy. <laughs> yes, he is, he is. And, and actually speaking of Space Cowboys, because that, that at the same time, Kate Bush's, I found Bowie through Kate. Mm. Uh, oh, why are we frozen? No. <laughs> Guys. Are you frozen? We can see you. Oh. Yeah. Okay, there we go. You're back. <laughs> <laughs> Just when we got to the real Yeah, I'm like, no, we're talking about Kate Bush, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> I love the fact that the 70s and the 80s, you know, offered us a journey mm, rather yes. than a statement. I fucking hate statements. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fair enough. You know, like Instagram yeah. culture has given us epitaphs that sort of like uh, in one, you know, pissy statement, yeah. everything yeah. will be solved. And it, it, life is not that. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It's like open up a portal, leave me raw. And let me work my way home, and it may take a lifetime. Yeah, okay? that's true. Yeah. You know? <gasps> oh, someone's come to visit just very quickly because must do. <gasps> and this little guy. Oh, no. Speaking, speaking no. of the original Space Cowboy. Oh, my <laughs> God. Look at his 
prone in a way. He's, he's and prone. Every day. Every day. He's, he's got this bigger. one thing. Oh, Love oh, little is it, oh, that my dog is thick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Off you go. I'm going to let you go. Okay. Did you guys go know it. that um, Gypsy's Instagram with Pluto is the highest um, rate of video on your Instagram? <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. It doesn't surprise they me. They love us. What's our song? How's it go? Bounce Booty like, like a basketball. Ball. If you don't, don't Let's shake it at all. <laughs> Oh, good on you, kid. Have a lovely Love walk. You Love you. I'll see ya. Thank you. Oh, um, that's, that's fine. It's in the in my cupboard in the other other in the other um front room. How's it going? Mm. Sorry, girls. Yeah, there we are. Right. Um, yeah, but then and also with Brian, you know, you know, there's such a massive body of work there, and it's so diverse. So it, it's that that thing you say, Kate, about the the journey with him. You know, yeah. it's just about the one record. And, and Bowie was like that too. Like one of my favourite Bowie records is Low, which is also super weird yeah. and has a lot of weirdness about it. And, um, you know, if that was the only record he was going to put out to make a statement, then, you know, it just wouldn't work. It's got to be part of a, a yeah. can, doesn't it, you know? Yeah. Yes, exactly right. We want the complete works of. Yeah. And and the only way, I mean, bless him, what he did is he, he showed us how to be prolific without concern about consequence. No concern. You no. have to be, and that is, to me, the greatest form of courage. It came with, classic, classical musicians were like that. They yeah. were poo-pooed, they were not played, they were not, they died as paupers. Did they give a rat's ass? No. No. Actually not. That's because exactly. who's got the last laugh? We're still listening to them 400 years later. Mm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, Frank Zappa I mean, it, it's yeah. a it's a it's a shame that in this just at this particular place where we are now, there's been a pause on um, maybe uh, there's a pause. We I don't know about you girls, but but perhaps we think it's indulgent to focus on um, the esoteric while there's so many kind of pragmatic needs at hand. Mm -hmm. But I actually, I mean, some people might find, for instance, going and buying an album an indulgence this week. Mm. Mm. Or maybe they might not go online and find that really excellent T-shirt that they've been hunting down for a thousand years. It just says exactly, you know, with a graphic design or something that says yeah. exactly what they want to say about themselves. Yeah. I, I know I refrain from, I haven't bought anything since oh. I sold, not a thing. No, no. Well, I mean, that, that does seem a little bit like what's the point. I know. Um, I mean, I bought, I bought some music. I have ordered music and, and, yeah, but no clothing. Like buying clothes at the moment seems mm. completely pointless. Yeah. yeah. It's a tracksuit pants, you know. Yeah. Well, I, was, I, I think that maybe then we've headed into the correct direction, which is that music could be enough. Mm. Yeah. And, and that actually, look, because can I, can I show you mine? I bought two. Please, at, 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 well, no, because I wanted to show you, and I love the fact that the three of us have bought something, all of us, something yeah. from that are so different and yet we all agree that we love them the same things about them mm. i bought two records to show because i wanted to show the dichotomy of um how someone could be influenced by another they're completely different yeah um they they made the world of difference to me both of them and 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 both of them were so unsteady and so unstable as humans but music kept them living mm. and that is billy holiday and marvin gay i'm sorry they're cds oh. Wow, no, that's, that's good. Yeah. I, no, it was uh, one of those terrible things that when I, I moved and I had that terrible thought that, oh, no need to keep my albums anymore because I'll just buy CDs of the same thing. And it never sounded the same, I've got to be honest. No, no, but that's, that's what we None know. of these have ever sounded the same. I yeah. own both of these albums. Mm. And one of the, this is this is actually one of the just of the legacy. I just thought it bought it just as a, it's a compilation really. Mm. Yeah, beautiful. And Marvin Gaye. Both of them as well, they're compilations. And the CD, I don't don't even want to refer to the CDs because that, that concept is shit. But here we go. Um, the thing I wanted to talk about, the eccentricities of the two of them, was that they both uh, were forever known as sort of somewhat traumatised by their life's conditions. Yes. But if you read how they felt about their lives, they yeah. felt blessed. Mm. Yeah. Really? In even their even, own words. Yeah. 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 In their own words, they both, for instance, you know, Billy in a, in a final year, she said, oh, look, I, I never asked for any of your sympathy. I am what I is. 
but mm. she said, but the but the but the harrowing parts of my life made the good parts so much better. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And poor old, you know, no, no, no. he adored Billy Holiday. He loved Ella Fitzgerald. He was a jazz yeah. singer actually. That yeah. That that became a sort of like a, a soul singer. But they all come from church. Mm. Yeah. Yes, they exactly. all come from church. Yeah. Um, and then suddenly, you know, and then he gets into that sexy place on a couch and I'm like, mm, mm. <laughs> And it was no less sexy than Billie Holiday. The, 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 the spell she was casting was, I think she was talking, I'm a sensualist, I am a romanticist, I am a person who feels things on a very deep and solid level, which then leads us and in the end leads us definitively to Amy Winehouse. Mm. True. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yes, exactly. It, it's yes, she's the the distilled version. Yeah, mm -hmm. and yeah. then you've got like someone like um, you know Ronson, who's the the new Eno. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, yeah that's very right. true. That and you've got yeah, I know. See, I, I, I don't know. Connection. I feel like I could. It's like Monopoly. I feel like I I could get us all on the board, and it all makes sense. Yeah. Yes, get a big a big whiteboard, and you know. <gasps> oh my God, girls, we should make a rock and roll Monopoly. Oh, what a great idea! Yeah. Yeah. Come on, we could yeah. put Chase Records, Apple yeah. Music, Abbey Road. We could put what's the place where um, Jimmy did Electric Ladyland. Yeah. We could do, you know, a Melbourne studio. We could do streets. We could do famous um, cool photographic thing. sessions. Linda, yeah. 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 Oh. And we could take money and lose money as managers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Wait, we can um, choose to be the artist. But, you know, your agent drops you, go back, go, go back. Go back, yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. We're you, doing you, it. you gave your work to a graphic designer, but you spent more money and the, and the yeah, exactly, yeah. we put the graphic <laughs> Girls, I think we're on to something. Right. I, don't, I think it. you better get this thing out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We could definitely, definitely to create that. Yeah, that'd be oh, nice. Yeah. 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 Your, your, uh, your, you know, your Facebook clip goes viral, you know, jump to... Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, can we actually do this? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I, yes. Can we? Yeah. Why not? Yes. Why not? All right, then. You know what I'm going to do? Yes. Because I'll get the Monopoly board out. We're going to make okay. a list of everything that it contains as we, part of its game. Yes, the criteria. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we'll call it the, um, oh, is he? <laughs> I put him to bed. Bring his bed in here and he can sit up here. What about? Rock What's a word that has Opoly in it that has to do with, oh, um, well, Monopoly, what's great about Monopoly is music is all about the Monopoly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Rockopoly? That sounds a bit dumb, doesn't it? It does sound a bit dumb, yeah. Yeah, never mind. Um, music, 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 actually, music, you know, oh my God, yeah. Yeah, we'll yeah. work it out. Yeah, we'll work it out. Monopoly. the game of fame. <gasps> the game of fame. But if it's monopoly, then it has to have monopoly in the title, doesn't it? Like, aren't they all? I don't think we're allowed. I would think that they'd be like a sort of oh, mm. unless we sell it to them. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That would. Oh, oh it's, right. we could. Yeah. So we're trying to do a version of, aren't we? Yeah. So we'd have to give it another name, wouldn't be if it's a version. Well, game of life. We played that just as much as we played monopoly. So if we get. What, what did I call it? What um, did I call it before? Um, we've got it recorded, which is good. But the yeah. Yeah. game is music. No, game of rock. No. Game no. of fame. No. What was a game of fame? Yeah. Game it's of the game yeah. of fame. Mm. It's it's a, roll the dice, people. Roll yeah. the dice. Who wins? It's a game of fame, and there's mostly and and then each corner will have. Sorry, everyone. We'll have, no worries. We'll have. We'll have luck, right? Stop. Oh, I know. Who is that <laughs> all happening? Sorry. That's all right. <laughs> we'll have luck. We'll have, yeah. um, we'll have sugar daddies. <laughs> exactly. Champions, you know. Maybe kind of like go to jail. Well, go to jail is probably quite good actually, isn't it? Yeah. You don't want to go to jail. We'll go to rehab. Oh, no, yeah. Go to rehab. Uh, well, I have to sell all of your guitars. Mm. That's what my brother had to do. Oh, no, really? Why? Well, because just needed money. I don't want to overshare on a public broadcast, no. but the poor bastard, oh, it's the worst cool. thing he ever did. He's been living his whole life going back and finding them all again and oh, rebuying them. Oh, that's so awful. Oh, God. 
and he's doing it. He's got most of what he needs. Oh, that's which good. is good. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's good. yeah. The cards are good fun. I think you remember those. The what were they called? The chance cards or whatever. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah. Where so well, you get the questions. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Well, I love that, and I love the other thing is too. It says, um, oh, so we'll go down and we'll, you know, because Alana and I were very, um, you know, we've got all the time in the world right now. Having Alana to go and get particularly pure pure all about it we can go yeah. now what exactly are they asking what, here what how can we convert this exactly we'll go through all the cards yeah 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 and cool then, yeah you can you can manage, manage the project <laughs> Lisa. Well, okay. we'll fame. throw some ideas over every now and again <laughs> no that's no because you'll do the management questions i'll do the arts questions uh, and she can do the graphics questions yeah yeah, yeah. and then it'll be designed by the three-way split of management arts and art yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. Management, music, and art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. All right. Well, let's start brainstorming some 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 uh, questions and contexts. Okay. Fun. Gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, uh, well, that's our thirty minutes. But I'm. I think anyone want to come up with the next idea for our next? Um, yeah. Soundtrack. Good. Ooh. 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 Ooh that's gonna be hard. One. Sixties. Sixties is a good call. We'll do that next. Oh, Soundtracks. That's it. Oh my god, yes. All roads lead to Bowie for me instantly. <laughs> See these eyes so red. <laughs> that is great though, isn't it? What was that oh. film? Um Cap no, what was it called? Cat people. Cat people. Cat people. Cat people. Yeah, yeah, and then Ryuchi Sakamoto, do you know who that is? Oh. Alana? No. Oh. 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 oh go and go and get oh, Merry Christmas, Christmas, Mr. Lawrence. Okay. Are you crying, Lisa? <laughs> yeah, I, well, I watched it recently actually, Merry Christmas, Miss Lawrence. It was on SBS. Oh my uh -huh. god. But Brandon Ryan, she's in it too, isn't he? He's in it, yeah. As, yeah. He's done. I mean, speak of a person who's got an amazing body of work too, you know, that guy's. Oh. Really, and still, I think I don't know. I must must Google him and see what he's done lately. But I'm sure he's done interesting stuff. I feel like the J the Japanese have uh, conquered isolation a long time ago and perfected it. <laughs> well, no, that's, well, I, could, I mean, you know, they kept their borders pretty closed for a while, didn't they? So yeah, yeah. and so also, in I think in the arts, they've been the most pure, pure. And, yeah. and unalterated and unadulterated. They yep. simply don't change. There's thousands of years of construction in their, yeah. in their, you know, in their fabrics, in their music and art, and that's so true. So they have embraced, um, you know, American rock and roll, haven't they? They love rock and roll. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did I ever tell you one of my one of my greatest and most happiest moments was hearing my Japanese friend yeah. um, tell me that she loved my song "Telly Brossom Ripstick." <laughs> and I said, I wrote that song just for you. You know that. <laughs> wow, that's hard. So I, yeah, Chelly Brossom Ripstick. <laughs> Chelly, what? Chelly Brossom, Chelly Brossom. <laughs> Ripstick. Lipstick. Oh, no, Chelly Brossom Ripstick. <laughs> American. Still communicates. Yeah, I know. <laughs> all right, my friends. Well, I'll be right. making lemon tarts for you all, so look after Ooh, yourselves. Thanks, How about Yeah. Yay. Yeah. All right, cool. So we're going soundtracks. We'll stick with that. Soundtracks. Yeah. Okay. Good old. And um, Alana, let's get all of our um, uh, Instas on Insta. Instas on Insta. Full Insta chats on Insta. Oh, yeah, all this. Yeah, I can put yeah. all these on Insta. From the beginning, just land it. We'll just be a week or two behind, but just keep doing one a week on yeah. a Tuesday. Um, also, I've I've put up the – so I'll let everyone know. There is an artist community page now on Kate's website, um, which has this vlog right here um, oh, and good. all the other vlogs and your Ash Grunnell vlog as well. So – Okay, good. Kate's, Kate's website, there's a little link up the top that says um, com artist community, and you click that and you'll see everything. A whole Amazing. Well, maybe what we could do um, is 
if you want it on the Insta, we do like um, an IGTV of maybe just three minutes or so of yeah. the three of us, yeah. and then that's up every week, and that's the advertisement. And at the end, and put a, we'll put some um, posting on it of what the theme is. Yeah, sure. Amongst just like actually do a tile and not and let it spin out into the the blog for three minutes. Sounds good. And that each week has this. I love the theme, and then that will then send people to the community then and talk about right. it. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds oh, that's on some of the community page. Can people interact? Uh, or on a we place can do that. that. Place Not at the this. moment. It, we can do yeah. that definitely. But it was more because every week we're having new things coming from Kate and the community, and we're like, we need a page where it's just everything. Yeah, cool. You can you can yeah. see Kiara at Moi in that yes. drop down as well. Um, so we're we're sort of doing that, and I've I've got another idea, Kate, um, from your idea last week. She says it's all me, but you know it's no, all me. No, oh. no, you got, no. you said how oh, I don't know if I'll, I'll cut this out of the recording if you want, but um, you said last week how you want to promote um, Jess and one of the other people on your show. Oh, Montaigne, yeah. Yeah, I was thinking we could do a muses page within the artistic community. Oh, that's a nice idea. And then we yeah, but when is Vic Linda's album due to drop? Album album? Yeah. Oh, next they, year. You, they're um, they're, they're going to announce an anthology on um, Thursday. Well, great. Because there's a couple of people this week who've dropped and I'd love to be able to put them on that page. Yeah, I'd love to like my note, my... Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm it. thinking. Like, put all all of yeah. your friends and people well, that yeah, just, yeah. yeah, that that thing with Paul Kelly, by the way, was gorgeous. Oh, did you like that? Yeah, that turned out. Oh, yeah. I was very, very moved. Were I you? love that. Yeah, yeah. I love that. Oh, really beautiful! It's really not fun. Yeah, they they stick so nicely together, don't they? Those three. Oh, I love how unadorned. I just, in a way, I I long for an album that's just voices and guitar like that with them. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what I loved about last week with you and, and them. They were just it was yeah. such a that's beautiful thing. combination. It's just about the voices and the guitar. It's just, oh, it's just like, unreal. You guys should do I mean you got I think you for you three to be singing that together live would be beautiful. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Yeah. And that and we'd probably the best thing would be to do it live and record yeah. it live and that's yeah. what gets released. Nothing else. Like mm. a yeah. limited edition of those of, of just a live session with the mm. three of yeah. us. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I don't have, I did have, but anyway, we'll end up here and I'll get some earbuds for the gal. Yeah, sure. I will see you, girls, and I'll see okay. you later, Rana. Awesome. See you, Lisa. Lovely to see you, darling. Bye, Bye. guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.